Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Alicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we have the heavily requested Tory Burch Retail Shop With Me for the brand new handbag releases, including the Eleanor Satchel and the Fleming Soft Convertible Shoulder Bags. Thank you all. Your love has broken the curse and freed my soul. But before we hop into today's Tory Burch Shop With Me, if you guys love handbags, hauls, Tory Burch, luxury, shop with me's, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video. And it helps with that pesky <coughs> YouTube L go rhythm. Let us start off this shopping trip to Tory Burch with the Eleanor Small Rectangular Bags. These bags are actually very, very stunning in person. The online pictures, as well as they do them justice, they also don't do them justice because they just look stunning. Words cannot describe. I love this baby blue, like... I can't, I don't know the exact color to this, but it is very pretty. It has a very thick, beautiful spazzolato leather. It's got the linen and it is quite expensive. $828 Canadian. So, mm, girl, the price ain't come to play, but neither did the quality. These bags are beautiful. And then they also have a red leather bag in the rectangular. It is just luscious. It's luscious. Let's just say that. Now, what I love about the rectangular bags is that it's very um, baguette style. I love how it's a baguette bag and it just looks very effortless and timeless, if you will. Also $828. So quite, it's quite expensive. Let's just say that. It is a very expensive, but it looks so sick. I absolutely love the color. I love the bag. It looks good even with this like off outfit. As you can see, I got my little Tom Wesselman and I got my uh, coach sneakers there. And then here we got the woven the woven version, the multicolored woven version to the Eleanor rectangular bag. I don't really like this. Again, I, I love the Eleanor rectangular bag, but I don't like the uh, woven effect to it. It's just not my tea, but it's very fun. It's very cute and fun nonetheless. Struggle with the price tag. $968 Canadian. So easy, over a thousand dollars. Like that is crazy. That is crazy, but it is woven leather and it's so expertly done. It's understandable, but I love the black. The black had me look, that looks so elegant and stunning. I'm wearing an edgy outfit, but it elevates my outfit to like heights. I couldn't even imagine. It just looks so good. It is an effortless bag and I enjoy it thoroughly. If I had the money, girl, the Eleanor rectangular bag would be mine in a heartbeat. But here we got the normal Eleanor bag in a nice spazzolato black leather. Now, I love their spazzolato leathers, but for some reason, I feel like this one has really thick stitching. Maybe it's just the color popping out, but it does feel like the stitching's pretty thick. Just not my cup of tea, but it's still stunning. And the, oh, the leather is just to die for. Uh, apparently, 
it's enough so to rip the price tag off, so we don't know how much this is, but I, I can tell you, it's probably a lot of money. <laughs> if I had to guess, probably somewhere from $700, $800 Canadian. And here is the long-awaited Eleanor Satchel. So many of you asked me to get this, and I am happy to present this to you. This is one of the most beautiful handbags I have ever played with. The snap closure for the T-lock is immaculate. If you, like, it, look, the leather, girl, I have no words. The leather is soft. The hardware is amazing. The price tag makes me want to cry. $1,108 Canadian. I... I would say, though, this bag would be worth saving up for. This bag would 1,000%, no pun intended, be worth saving for. The Eleanor Satchel is one of those bags that are just timeless. It is a new style, but it is timeless. And very few bags are able to achieve that instant timeless look. It looks so good with my outfit. I was wincing. I was wincing. I'm wincing now. Watching this over, I'm wincing. I wish I could have taken this home. I wish I had the money for this. This is just a dream. An absolute dream. And then here we also got the Eleanor Satchel with Spazzolato. It's got the white cream color. It's also very pretty, but the black is just... The black does it a lot more justice, in my opinion. Though I do love how this one is Spazzolato, but let's be real. I wish they had the black in Spazzolato, because, girl, I would be literally crying. I would be crying. And I mean that. <laughs> it's so beautiful. This is one of the most elegant, timeless pieces I've ever seen in my life. And here we got the Petite Double Lee Roswell bag. I love this. I love the navy blue leather with the yellow, like, suede accents. It's stunning. And I just love how soft the leather was. This bag is just... Ma'am. Tory Burch. I might have to say Tory Burch might be my favorite brand. Like... They just make some of the most elegant and, like, amazing pieces ever. Like, the leather is so beautiful. It's some of the most beautiful leather I've ever felt in my life. It is so... The, the style of the bag, excellent. I'm, I'm gushing right now, but... $798 Canadian. That's not horribly out of my price range. That's not horrible. It's not horrible. It'd be easier to save up for this than the Eleanor Satchel, but regardless, both are pretty timeless. I love the Lee Roswell double bag. The petite, the large, whatever, they're all equally stunning. The petite's more my size, but nonetheless. And then I believe this is like an Eleanor card satchel. I mean, <laughs> card satchel, sorry. An Eleanor card holder. I love the card holder. It is stunning, though it is it's still pretty expensive. Like $198 is nothing to scoff at for a card holder. Get a nice quick look at the store itself. All bags I do believe I've shown before and we've talked about before. All pu all very beautiful. Here we have the Miller shoulder bag in suede, and it's got, like, this funky, like, stitching to it. It's got a very funky, funky stitching, stitching to it. Oh my gosh, I can't speak now. It is a beautiful bag. The suede was very soft, and the hardware looked very beautiful as well. Though we do know this is going to be expensive. $968. $1,000 Canadian, basically. That, oof. That bag is beautiful, though. The stitching kind of, 
I like the stitching, but I also hate it. Like, it's just, it, it's something to look at, you know? I like it for that reason. And I love the braided strap it comes with. It is very pretty. It's very country, but also very, like, elegant country. Like, elegant country girl. Like, high fashion country girl. And we got the Lee Roswell Petite Double Bag in patent leather. As much as I love this, I don't like the massive stitches. The stitches being that big just, like, it. it's a vibe, but it's, maybe it's a grower, you know? Grower, not a shower. $1,108 for the petite. The petite. That is uh, astronomical. That is insane. Y'all will be gagged, though, at the price for this piece. Though you will notice that it's more of a burgundy or, like, a... I would... Maybe... Maybe wine? I'm not sure, but it's very pretty. An absolutely massive bag. Very hefty. It looked so good with my outfit, though. I know it... I The massive Lee Roswell double bag is really big, but it still looked amazing. Not necessarily my style, but I would definitely rock this no matter what. And the patent leather, just as nice as the petite, and it's just a really big bag with a, a massive price tag. A massive, massive price tag of $1,798 Canadian. Wow. Absolutely wow. Wow. But can you blame them? But can you really blame them? This bag is just most likely worth every penny. If you're able to afford it, worth every penny. Every damn penny. The construction is uh, perfect. The quality is just so on point. It is just... I love it. And then here we got the small Fleming soft convertible shoulder bag. Very, very nice looking. Uh, now, I did roast this. A li I lightly roasted this in my video before with Tori Birch when we were discussing these. Uh, $828 Canadian, so quite a bit more. These don't... The website does not do these justice, it, even in the slightest. These look so Chanel in person. It's actually kind of insane. Like, when I was, like, carrying around this purse... I was like, oh, I could actually see myself buying this. Like, it was just one of those pieces where you picked up and it felt like it was at home with you. It was a very weird feeling and it looked so good with me. It looked so good. Don't mind my, like, crinkled up face. I don't know why I look so pissed off, but it looks good. And the leather was very, very supple and, oh, immaculate and then the large normal size for the Fleming soft convertible shoulder bag just as beautiful though shockingly not as expensive as you're thinking it, as it's going to be surprisingly the price kind of shocked me not as much as the beautiful silhouette did the bag is so beautiful the design immaculate $968, so really not a big price increase from the small, which was very surprising to me. Because as we've seen throughout the video, the price increase, like the sizing and all that is can be pretty big. But this seemed to be good, in my opinion. In a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety-nine, ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and 99. 
Alrighty, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tory Burch retail shop with me. Oh, this one hurt my soul. <laughs> this shop with me hurt my soul a little because, girl, these bags. These bags. Like, I actually really, really want to try, try to save up for a Tory Burch bag. I know this week I was not good. I was not good this week because, girl, I was supposed to save up that money I, I spent at the outlet. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's shop with me, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. Hit that like button, share with your friends and family, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's shopping trip or outfit of the day. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And please check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! <laughs>